Yes. Okay. All right, one, two, one run with it. One run with it. Yes, one run with it. Mayor Lawrence of the state of New York. This is a news flash. The New York State budget has allocated $800 million in the Emergency Rental Assistance Program. Many of you are saying to yourself, this is great news. I'm finally going to get the money that's due me. This is super. I'm so happy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here's the reality of the subject. Every month, the Office of Temporary and Disability Assistance must put out a report about ERAP. The April report numbers are as follows. There have been a total of 322,347 applications in total for ERAP. Out of that, 135,406 applications have been paid. Leaving a total of 186,941 not paid. Now, out of that number, there was 32,750 applications that had been conditionally approved pending landlord's documentation. That amount totals $409 million. So let's look at the numbers. My fellow landlords, look at these numbers. $409 million covers 32,750 applications. All right now, let's look at the 800 million. Now, is that $409 million coming out of that 800 million? And if so, that means $391 million to cover over 154,000 applications. All right? 32,750 applications eat up $409 million. I wonder when over 155,000 applications are going to eat up. Much more than $409 million, I can guarantee you that. Even if so, the $409 million comes out of former monies allocated for ERAP. And that $800 million is for the 154,250 applications that have not been approved and not had money allocated for, for that since April 1st, 2022. If you look at those numbers, even $800 million will not calculate enough to make us landlords whole. Even at 12 months past and 3 months going forward, is covered from a, a, a slim amount of landlords out of 154000 What about all those other months that we have received no rent whatsoever since February, March of 2020, and maybe even going back further than that? So $800 million for 154,250 applications as of April 1. I'm sure there's another 40 to 50,000. So we dare say there's about 200,000 applications that $800 million is supposed to cover. That's bull. It is not going to cover that much. We already know that. Now, in the budget, they've also allocated $125 million for homeowners and landlord assistance. Now, you might say, okay, great, there's some money there. No. Homeowners assistance is for those who are having trouble paying their mortgage because of what's been going on in New York State. We all know about that. We won't be a dead horse because we all know. But it also covers LRAP, the Landlord Rental Assistance Program. That money is going to disappear like that. The money is going to be gone like that. Same thing with the $800 million. The problem that we see happening now is that now the, the, the flag is waving that more money is there for the landlords, the legal aid society is happy, tenant advocacy groups are happy, because you know why? It's not because you're going to get paid, Mr. and Mrs. Landlord. It's because it's going to delay this eviction process even longer. How long is it going to take to examine these 155 to 200,000 applications to say, yep, you get paid, yep. You're getting the moolah, and how much moolah are you going to get? A one month's rent? 12 months' rent? And they're going to pay you one in two months? Because when they pay you anything, the eviction process stops and you have to start all over again. What are they going to do? Is this 
provisional or this application process and the examination of them it's going to take a few more months to go through. Even the ones that have been provisionally approved, are they going to go on for a few more months? The ones that have not been approved and 155 to 200,000, how many more months are they going to take to examine and approve? So even though many of us are happy, there's $800 million, that's great. The reality of the subject is that many of us will see very little, if nothing at all, from this money. And the scary part is, is when this money is exhausted, are they going to keep your application portal open and then beg the federal government for more money to pay? And then thus keeping the ERAP application portal open until November, December of 2022 or longer? What's going to happen? After this $800 million is allocated, is it going to kill off? Is it going to kill off ERAP? Or is it going to keep ERAP open? Let us know what you think. Leave comments below. Let us know. We're going to be keeping on top of this because we want to keep you informed. Members, as you know, we are going to keep on top of this and other stories that are going to keep you educated, not only here in New York State, but all over the United States and even further for those international investors who invest here in New York State and the United States. We ask that you subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, share our video and our channel with other landlords and real estate investors, leave comments below, and until then, Take care.